Hi, this is Jared, and I have a quick bonus video to follow up on the previous video where we created this image. If you somehow missed that video, here's a link. Okay, so one of the things I'd mentioned in that previous video is if I were going to actually create this image, I would make sure that I filled in all this dead space, um, you know, where the structure would go here, where the trusses would go here, I would add some ground here so we don't have this discontinuous um, red. I just want it, you know, a perfect cut. But if you don't have time to model everything in the dead space or you don't want to model it because it messes up drawings elsewhere, there's a way to cheat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this Command C for copy, uh, Command V for paste, and what's going to happen is I've now just pasted a 2D version of this image. I'm going to move it over a known distance, let's say 200 feet or you know, 100 meters, whatever it is. And what we have now here is that same exact image, but um, it's all 2D lines, which means we can manipulate it and mess it up and make it whatever we want. Um, now, before we go any farther, the caveat means any changes we make to this won't update when you redo the model. So do this at the very end, or just have a good system for manually you know, updating and changing it, which is kind of a pain. But still, I want to show you this so you can do the tricks. Now that we have this as 2D, we can start deleting things. So for instance, I'm going to get rid of those lines. Um, So those lines are done. You'll notice um, I have this set up where uh, my arrow tool, if I go uh, right to left, it selects everything. If I go left to right, only what's completely in the marquee area. So um, if I select this, I'm going to cycle through, find that fill. Um, Bring that forward. Nope. Send that back. No, nope, this is being annoying. What I want to do is basically just recreate this. So I can just go ahead and um, it's an extra line there. Uh, so I'm just going to start stretching all this stuff to match the image. I'm, I'm cutting this, by the way. You can't see my fingers. But anyways, I'm going through and you know stretching those fills. Now we got that right. Uh, I, I could do the same thing, stretching the fills. Also, you can go in here and you know edit all this stuff, find the little mistakes, and clean it up just perfectly. Um, so if you imagine I did that everywhere, I say delete these lines, um, and then start stretching this out. You know, to get that perfect. Imagine if I do this everywhere, you'd end up with an image like this. So this is all 2D, it's all just like awesome and perfect, and you can drop that on your drawings, and you're done. Now a hybrid solution to this would be to take these fills you've created and move them back on top of the model. Bring this forward. And so you could create a hybrid approach where you're just masking off on top of the 3D you, uh, which definitely has its advantages because as this updates, your patches are just kind of covering it. Um, but the big warning here is once you start mucking with this and trying to make this look pretty with 2D patches, whether you're doing this solution where it's all 2D or this solution where it's a hybrid of 2D and 3D, it's a lot of management. So long term, if you're investing in this strategy of creating these images, you want to do it all modeled. But if you're doing a quick image to show a boss, a client, something one-off that doesn't have to be maintained through the life of the project, or you're just being a little lazy and don't have the patience or energy to do it properly, this copy and paste solution and then cleaning everything up is going to work great for you. So hope you enjoyed that bonus tip, and I'll talk to you guys soon.